Well, tonight our radio host, conservative Ben Ferguson, host of the Ben Ferguson Show on Radio America, and Warren Ballantyne, author of The Truth About Black and White, A Practical Guide to Race Relations and Money in the 21st Century. They both join us right now. Okay, thank you guys for joining us. I got it. Did you hear the arrogance question? Yeah. Uh, and I, you know what? Ben, I got to start with you because yeah. I've been hearing a, a, you know, a lot of conservatives say, how dare him go no. and criticize the United States on a world stage? Well, forget that for a second. I just truly was laughing at this week because you had a president that gave an iPod to the Queen of England with speeches that he had made his life. Now, you want to you want to talk about arrogance of the world. How arrogant are you to give an well, iPod to the Queen with your own speeches? What do you think of the Queen? Uh, is, a queen is a Queen arrogant? Well, no, but to give your she own speeches? She gave him speeches? a plate of a picture of her, she I and mean, her husband. I mean, you know, it, yeah, but no, no, it gave him some pens as well. I mean, the, the reality is, is, yes, it's very bad on the international stage. When you start going around the world and you start apologizing all the time, it's like he went over there and he wanted to say, we don't want, longer want to be a leader of these 20 nations or for the world. We just want to be one of 20 nations at the G20. Warren. We just want to be average. Go we ahead, Warren. You're great. laughing. I you, see you, you laughing you, you, your head you, you off over what? there. You know what? I got to laugh at Ben because what, what this president did is went over there and cleaned up the mess that the previous president had did. We got eight years of hate. He's over there trying to rebuild bridges to make it where we can actually go overseas and have a common bond to make things better for everybody. He went over there and the arrogance comment that he made wasn't about Americans. It was about this past president who went into Iraq when the world at, told him not to do it. Look at, look That's at what, he, what was, he was doing. Look at what he was talking about. Today he talked about, and it's a worldview the man's talking about. It's not about the last administration all the time, even though he tries hard to do that. But today, even look at North Korea. He said we need a we need a global demand and we need to we need to all get together. The reality is that sometimes there's good and bad in the world, and sometimes you have to be the leader. You don't just let everybody come I, ben, to the table I, I, and I, 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 hang on. Hang on, Warren, hang on, Warren. Ben, what I think you're saying is that you don't need world. to air your dirty laundry. That everyone says, you know, that's something that happens inside of families. But Amen. when you're when you're the leader of the free world as the U.S. president is, the leader of the free world, shouldn't you really talk about issues that affect the world and our Absolutely. Uh, the, what people thought about us overseas, our reputation overseas, was not good after the past eight years. You cannot deny that, that conservative what, what, or liberal. What this, president, what this president is simply trying to do when he says he's reaching out to everybody with North Korea even, he's trying to show the rest of the world that we are not going to say take okay. the same steps Look, that we the did buzzer, with the that's previous a buzzer, That's a buzzer. That's going to have to be the last <laughs> word on that. Let's talk about something that most everybody agrees on. Uh, the first lady, a sensation over there and over here by most people's account. Warren? Just look at her. She, she's beautiful. She's smart. She, she's eloquent. She, she, I mean, what, what fault could you find in this woman? None. All right, she's ben. fantastic. Ben, look, look, do you disagree? I, I think she's beautiful. I think she's very nice. But the fact Was of the matter it too is... Much? When I've got a lady walking out there on stage and waving and more of the world's worried about that, you know what? Maybe the president should do his job being the president. Let the first lady be the front person of smiling and waving for America. Maybe that's how it should work. I, the I, problem is I feel like both of them are competing in a beauty pageant of who's got more friends and family. Yeah, but you know, hang on, hang on. I mean, <laughs> is it their fault, though? The, and I think Saturday Night Live, it was very funny last night, sort of summed it up when they, uh, when they said um, the first lady wore an outfit by, uh, not the Gap, uh, by J. Crew, and that it sold out. Now, if we could only get her to drive a Chrysler. That, that's great. So, the, the, yeah, <laughs> the, the, the only problem is, is there's real problems in America and around the world, and I don't want American Idol to be going to Europe. And real that's what problem. Just real problem is God, talking Idol. about the gun violence happening here in the U.S. The president addressed that overseas. Uh, let's talk about that gun control, uh, bringing back the assault weapons ban, Ben. You name a place around the world where gun control has worked. The fact of the matter is, law-abiding citizens actually abide by the laws. You said there's These, no place around the world where gun look control is working? Look at the UK. Look at the UK when they pass massive gun control laws. And look at their violence is drastically up. Look at their rape. It's drastically up. It's look drastically at up, but Warren it's and Ben, up. Warren, it's still much lower than ours, even though it's no, up it's now. No, it's not. Not, in, not around. No, look at London. That's wrong. The, the, the well, yeah, facts you, came you, out. We looked at the stats you, last you night. Know, you, you we know looked what, at the no, stats ben, last night, and we are way higher than This is what I'm going to say, Don, on this issue right here. Unfortunately, I'm going to agree with Ben here. Uh, you know, because of this new world order and everything that's happening with uh, state police and, and all this other stuff, I think every American should be getting a gun right now because we don't know what's going on with the fact of <laughs> oh terrorism and everything else. I I'll, think we all should be all right, back. Well, you know what? I'll pull it back a notch. All I know is is that crazy people that do the things that we've seen over the last right. few days are very tragic, yeah. are going to do them whether you have gun control laws or not and, because and the guess real... what? They're breaking the law and they're willing to kill themselves to do it. No law matters to a human being that's willing to kill themselves. The real issue here really is more about people than 
something about guns, and it, we need to sort of reach a consensus somewhere on this uh, to try to get a handle of, on it. Uh, we want to talk about. I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, other things, gay rights, uh, because you know of Iowa last week. But we're running out of time. I want to get to an issue, a very timely issue that sort of uh, it didn't come up just tonight, but uh, it's going to happen uh, probably what in about 20 minutes. We're going to start seeing, being able to see the photos of coffins of American uh, men and women, service men and women coming home. That's going to be a huge Hallelujah. issue come tomorrow. Hallelujah. I thank, thank God that this is happening. I think for America, sometimes you need that photo to put that perspective on what's going on. That's what happened in the Civil I Rights Movement. That's what happened in, in, in uh, Korea, excuse me, in I Vietnam. And I think that needs to happen right now. Go ahead, Ben. I, I, think it's, I think it's sad, and I'll tell you why. You're going to have people that are going to destroy, distort and pervert these photos into their own political gain and mission. And these men and women fought for their country. They signed up. There was no draft. They did it willingly. They fought for their country. Their families should be able, and their community should be able to to honor them in their way. If they want to publicize it, hold on a second, hold on a second. Let me finish, My point is, is some families, some families want their to be honored, their loved ones to be honored. I don't have a problem with that. The problem is, is when you have a casket, what happens is it no longer becomes a human being, and there are people that will pervert that into their own political mission, and that's what scares and makes it sad. If you as a family want to put a photo out there, that's fine. All right, Warren, you want two seconds. Are you cool? I, I, I'm cool. I think Ben's wrong, but okay. hey, we out of time. Yeah, maybe the way, maybe, maybe. You got a good golf game. I'll give you that. It's yeah, yeah, so, we can play some oh golf. Oh my now, gosh, man. these guys talking out, about golf, golf all night. Hey, listen, maybe the way to uh, that we should approach this is the way when you go in to get your driver's license and you sign off on whether or not you want to be a donor. Maybe upon yeah, going I, into I, the services, maybe Don. you sign that's off. That's a good on idea. That. Thank you both. Thank Thanks. you. We appreciate it. While